loving it now that uh, it is uh, getting uh, the whole attention it requires or now that it's been uh, addressed welcome back yet again to another video to another story to our returning subscribers thank you so much for your love and support and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is a sarsex squad forever William and Kat were petty and jealous about British media's British public's love for Meghan Markle. They were jealous, like literally that's one thing I bet. By now everyone knows. And I bet jealousy and being petty and being lazy is amongst the character traits that William and Kat have. I feel like that's amongst their character traits. Lying the Megan Mad Cat cry, making Megan Markle suicidal, refusing to clean up the lie they told, then getting angry at Megan and our Prince Harry for telling the truth on opera. Megan was getting death threats because of that lie. That lie is why the opera interview happened. They were bitter and jealous of the attention and love that the Sussexes were getting from the British public. Because I bet, as we all know, William has always wanted to be the one on the limelight and no one else. If not him, literally no one else. Meghan Markle wanted the world and those who were sending her death threats to know that she did not make cat cry prince william and cat middleton are two very evil individuals protected by the british toxic media what those two have done to megan is unforgivable let me just read you a piece that was written prince william and cat the princess of wales reportedly felt petty and jealous admin megan's early maturity cries in popularity with the British public. The UK went crazy with Meghan Mania when she stepped out with Harry to make their relationship official. The, re the revelation galvanized the public's imagination in the UK and drew in a host of royal fans from Meghan's native US. But the blossoming relationship caused both William and Kat to uncautiously raise their game in an undeclared battle for the headlines. This were even whisper of pettiness and even jealous among the public. Like literally, I bet it's getting clearer and clearer and clearer day in day out. And that it brings us to the whole point that Harry and Meghan were right all along. They did really need to talk about this. Yes, they did talk and addressed what was so much needed to be addressed. And according to them, they saw that as a sort of betrayal. And they thought Harry and Meghan are not entitled to speaking out what the public domain didn't know. They never sat down and thought that Harry and Meghan will ever give out the side of their story. And that people would leave to just kind of live with the lie that had been portrayed or so much laid to the public domain by the toxic British media, which assists in kind of building a name or a fake brand for William and Kat. But it's so unfortunate that they failed. William expects to be in the limelight due to his possession, but he soon found himself out of the spotlight. As the nation prepared for Harry and Meghan's wedding in May 2018. According to royal author Robert Jobson, in his new book, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, the biography, in January of that year, William reportedly fought to regain that limelight when Harry and Meghan panned in a morning engagement in Cardiff. In a response, William Charles to Debbie a new bus card during a visit to a hospital in London that same afternoon. Some of the household over that then Prince Charles found it funny that William has become 
so competitive with his brother. Fast forward a month ahead and the tension between the Fab Four was starting to become clear. During an engagement at the Royal Foundation Forum, the host asked if they ever had any family disagreements. Oh yes, William replied. Jobson wrote for Mail Online. This Fab Four is a nickname that was given to Harry, Meghan, Kat, and William back then. When I s let me let me not use the term that when they were all good, because I doubt if everything has ever been cool ever since the step in of the Duchess of Sussex. Probably it was all a fake smile like day in day out. Further cracks would become the more apparent in the family as they prepared for one of those biggest weddings for the royals in decades. Meghan at one time is reported to have asked to borrow some lip gloss, but Harry believed Kat Middleton handed hers over some word reluctantly. Harry claimed that Kat grimnized after Meghan squeezed some onto a finger and applied it to her lips. The fallout would further continue into the days just before the wedding. It later emerged that just four days ahead of the wedding, Meghan reportedly made Kat cry during a fitting for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress. But Meghan came out and gave out a statement claim that she, that and said that Kat had in fact made her cry like it's been a year it's been years it's been hectic and i wonder how harry and megan managed to deal with this for the months that they were still within the uk for harry i don't know how he was able to manage this growing up with such a brother always jealous Patty and always wanted everything that Harry has under from scratch. Some of the things that we don't understand to date. William and Kat honestly deserve each other. They do deserve each other. Because there is no single day you'll hear the UK media outlets speak about William and Kat in a negative dimension, but they do that over Harry and Meghan every single day. They do that every single day. Like it's obvious that there was a, a, a line drawn and that no one should cross the other and that's so bad and that's why i always see charles has a lot to fixate before it's too late before it's too late cat's reputation as the future queen was more important than the lies as she told her more important than megan and her unborn child health i will forever be thankful to prince harry for taking his wife megan out of that place and that country as indeed a hero and that's why i always say these people their bond they have is unbreakable they are unmatched and there's nothing they can do to separate harry and megan they've been through thick and thin together so them have been by any chance getting separated just because of what the media think and what they see that's a nightmare UK media outlets should never wish to wake up from. I don't know what you're thinking. I'll just place for you the pieces on the screen so that you can basically see them. Just let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.